Hey everyone, Lace Maz here, and you're watching The Dish. With the rivalry alive and well, I talk Yank Sox with someone by the name of Tyler Austin. Plus, you're about to get an exclusive Star Wars experience, Yankee Stadium style. So grab your lightsaber. May the force be with you. Honestly, baseball is at its best when Boston and New York are fighting for first. That leads to intense battles with way too much excitement, and no one knows that better than Tyler Ashton. Since we're on the subject, just really quick, I want to show you a video of your face because it was scary, but at the same time, like, I would not want to mess with you. <laughs> oh, man. What was going through your mind right there? I don't even know, to be honest with you, but I'm not that kind of person, so it's kind of, it's kind of <laughs> scary for me, too. So, yeah, I don't like it. Speaking of, the AAA Red Sox team, they did not allow anyone named Tyler or Austin into the stadium during their rivalry weekend against the Rail Riders. And in return, Scranton donated in your honor. So what are your thoughts on all that? It all turned out well. You know, we, we raised a lot of money for a good cause. So I, I, I think it ended up doing some good. Since we work here with the Yankees, we've seen and kind of been a part of your journey. Through all the ups and downs, how do you still stay so motivated? I've been told my whole life that I'll never be able to, to be a major league baseball player. I think that's the big thing that, that kind of keeps me going. You know, I try to work hard every single day and not uh, let any of the outside noise distract me. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Wait, no, it wasn't. Recently, a stadium right here in the Bronx hosted Star Wars night. I hung out with a Wookiee, had lightsaber training, and met some interesting characters along the way. Take a look. One, two, three, go! Yeah. Yeah. So are you a Yankees fan? Please tell me yes. Oh. It's nice and comfy over here. What products are you using for your hair? It's so nice. Oh, yeah. How are you? Good, how are you? You doing good? Anytime I can be in a ballpark, especially a major league ballpark, that's a good one for me. Uh, what's it like to be a part of the Star Wars legacy? Well, it's been a great thrill because I've known George Lucas from before Star Wars. And suddenly to get to tell a story that I'm really excited about, which is about young Han Solo. It's another element of it that's exciting to me. How cool is it to have Star Wars night here at Yankee oh, Stadium? That just says something about the nature of the way that the movies entertain and what they mean to fans and also what baseball means to people. I'm dying to know, how bad does Chewbacca smell? <laughs> he smells okay. He's very, he's, he's very careful. I had way too much fun there. Okay. Moving on to my favorite thing in the world. Food. There's something in center field that I want everyone to know about, so I hope you brought your appetite. We're down here at Toyota Terrace with an awesome view of center field, but there's some great food too. I'm joined with Chef April here. Chef, what do we got going on today? We got bows here, which are these fun little steam buns that are filled with all different types of meats and topped with fun stuff. Can you get us started and show us how of you course. make them? We do the bacon. So it starts off with two cucumbers, cilantro crema, slab wow. bacon, oh my goodness. and some pickled carrots, and some sesame seeds. We got chicken, beef, bacon and buffalo cauliflower. Chef April, thank you so much. This is about ready to rock my world. Okay, I have a confession. Between Chewie and I, we definitely didn't crush 48 bow buns. Or did we? So to wrap it up, the rivalry is back and Ron Howard is an awesome dude. Don't be a scruffy looking nerf herder. Make sure you tune in next time for another episode of The Dish.